photographing and keeping a visual record of your bonsai trees can serve several purposes. It helps you to track their growth and progress over time, allowing you to observe changes in their shape, size and overall appearance. This documentation is valuable for learning and refining your bonsai techniques and additionally sharing your photos or videos with other bonsai enthusiasts can be inspiring or lead to insightful feedback and suggestions for improvement. And finally, capturing the beauty of your bonsai in different seasons or lighting conditions allows you to appreciate their aesthetic qualities and share the beauty with a wider audience. Here are some of the trees in my own collection as at the end of August 2023. Keep watching until the end and I'll show you my setup and the tools and equipment I'm using to photograph my trees as well as sharing some tips on how you can take great photographs of your bonsai trees.
I don't claim by any stretch of the imagination to be a professional photographer, but I have learned a few things photographing and filming my trees over the last year or so. Ideally, you want a neutral background or backdrop when you're filming your trees, because otherwise the detail and the fussiness of the background distracts from the tree itself. In my experience, I would prefer to use a darker backdrop rather than a light backdrop, because otherwise the tree either looks very dark as here, or can possibly look washed out from reflection and glare from the white background. I'm filming here in my garage, which also serves as a home gym. And I've hung a dark fabric drop against the garage door and filmed my trees against that. You'll probably also want to control the lighting to give the best effect on your trees. And for that reason, I've got a number of these little loom cube lights. You will find that ideally you want to light your tree from more than just one side. If I just take out one of these lights, uh, you tend to get a more harsh shadow. I also like to uh, close the door in the garage and turn the overhead lights out so that the only light source is the loom cubes that I'm controlling and I can position those to give the most dramatic photograph. I have a side table set up where I can collect and put all my trees so I don't have to keep making trips out to the garden. I have this rotating turntable which I can use for photographing but I do find that it tends to turn too quickly and in the edit I have to slow the footage down to make it viewable. I also quite like to use these crates as props or backdrops. They're useful for either elevating the trees or just adding a bit of interest in the background. I hope you found some of that useful or interesting and you can take some tips away for photographing your own trees.